Hello everybody, SigRev2, and welcome back to my channel. My hat's somewhere over there, don't know where it is, but that's, you know, that's not what you came here to see. This video, I'm going to do doing a review on the Flaming Lips' second album, Oh My God. For those of you who don't understand what I'm doing, I'm going through the band's discography, I'm going to be rating and reviewing every album in their discography, up to and including the band's newest album, Oxymelody, which comes out this Friday, it comes out tomorrow, tomorrow, whew, I'm ecstatic. So, let's waste no more time. This one, it's not that much of a sonic departure from their first album. It does have a lot of similar themes, a lot of similar ideas and progressions, but it sounds slightly more cheap. Like it sounds like the band was in a hurry to get something out. It's kind of a detriment to the album. I mean, it's not like the band was in that much of high demand and they had more than a year to work on this one. It came out the year after that. They had more than enough time to get this done. And it kind of just seems a little rushed, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I took notes, and I have them on my phone right here. And some of the songs, I, I can't even, I didn't even write notes for. Because it just, they don't really do anything. They don't really go anywhere. And I can't really explain them. I mean, songs like Ode to CC Part 1, it's literally just a bunch of noise. Like, that's no hyperbole. It's a bunch of weird noises, a bunch of backwards vocal loops less than a minute long it has no point on being of being on this album and th there's a part two there's O to CC part two which is mostly an acoustic guitar and vocal track but there's some drums that come in near the end that kind of build up and disappear just as quickly as they came it sounds like it was recorded as a demo and they just threw it on there and I don't understand what this song has to do with part one, since this one is actually, you know, a song. Although I can't complain at all, there are some good tunes on here, like Everything's Exploding, which is very reminiscent of some songs from the first album, some of the better songs from the first album. There's also songs like Thanks to You and Can't Stop the Spring. Thanks to You is kind of jingle pop-esque, and the vocal performance from Wayne it's a lot, it's really interesting, I can't really explain it, it's a lot deeper than his usual fare, and it's a lot more quiet, like he's singing right up close to the microphone in this really deep voice, and it's quite an interesting sound. And like I said, Can't Stop the Spring is another great track on this one, it's, it's got a guitar riff for days, the only thing about it that I'm not a big fan of are the random samples, the classical samples that come along through it, I don't understand what that's all about. Unfortunately for this album, there's a lot more bad songs on it than there were on the first one. And there's a lot of time wasted on this album. There's a lot, of, like a lot of these songs could easily be cut in half. And it'd be fine. One million billionth, uh, what the fuck? One million billionth of a millisecond on a Sunday morning has no reason to be nine plus minutes long. After the four minute mark, I was already bored of it. It, it didn't progress much from that point on. It's the exact same shit. Just stretched out for five minutes more. Another song that suffers from this is Prescription Love. The first three minutes, you can cut that right out, and the song would be great. Like, it'd be in the upper tiers of this album. But as it stands, like, I can't rate it any higher. I got an email. I can't rate it any higher than it is on my list. And it's a shame, because the last three minutes... Shut the fuck up. The last three minutes of this song are really great. It's a nice poppy track. But the first three minutes... And on the last track, Love Your Brain, you know, it doesn't, it's not an outstanding track, but it's nice to listen to. It's kind of laid back, and it's it's a nice way to end the album until the three-minute piano destruction at the end of the track. For no reason. That seems to be the motif of this album. A lot of things happen for no reason. It bugs me more than it should, because their first album was was great you know i gave it a 3.5 out of 5 and then i come to this one expecting progression and i get filler and that's just a major letdown although there is one filler track on this album that i do like admittedly and i don't exactly understand why it's called maximum dream for evil knievel it's an atonal mess and it it just sounds like the band messing around in a studio improvising for like a good three minutes but it, for some reason i like it i 
I'm gonna have to give my ranking on the tracks here, aren't I? Yeah, that's what I did with the first album. So let's waste no more time and get right into the tiers, starting now. In the mist tier, at the very bottom, we've got Ode to CC Part 1, followed by 1 million billionth of a millisecond on a Sunday morning, followed by Ode to CC Part 2. In the OK section, we've got Love Your Brain, Prescription Love, The Ceiling is Bending, and Maximum Dream for Evil Knievel. Hooray! In the great tier, we've got Can't Exist and Can't Stop the Spring. And now in a tier I'm going to call The Absolute, we've got Thanks to You and Everything's Exploding. But overall, I'm going to have to give this album a 2.5 out of 5. It's a very weak follow-up to Here It Is, and it's honestly a shame that things seemed so rushed. And I don't really see an excuse for it. It's not like the band was in hot demand, and it's not like the band was given a short period of time to do this. They had all the time in the world, and they gave us this. It's just a good chunk of unnecessary time waste, and a good chunk of filler. And honestly, at points, it seems like the band's just doing it just to test people's patience. It's not an album I'd recommend. It's sad that this is what they had to follow up Here It Is with. But, but, it gets better. So there's my review of Oh My God, and most of this was off the top of my head. I only have some quick notes to go off of. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the album. And I will see you all next time when I go over the band's third album, Telegraphic Surgery. Have a great day. Don't be a stranger.